What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and I've got an awesome piece of news regarding the new iOS 9.2 and 9.2.1 upcoming jailbreak. So things were looking a little bit grim for a while. The 3K assistant team, you know, took back what they said about the jailbreak saying it hasn't been achieved, but now a breakthrough has happened and iOS 9.2.1 has officially been jailbroken by Luca Tedesco. Now he actually posted a tweet along with this image showing him running a jailbreak on iOS 9.2.1 and uh, on a newer iPhone. So, of course, this can easily be faked by editing the Plist files inside of Cydia, but we do know it is legit. First off, uh, let me show you guys what his tweet said. Basically, I lied, and this actually says great leader in Korean. It's supposed to be something funny, a jest, and he said no releases. So, uh, I bet you guys have a lot of questions right now. I'm gonna go ahead and try and answer them all accordingly, but here is the proof that he did jailbreak iOS 9.2.1. This is the kernel dump. So what's a kernel dump? Basically, it's the process, iOS running process. To extract it, you have to extract it from a running device, and this is off of a device with iOS 9.2.1. This is pretty much the final exploit needed to jailbreak. And he has it right here proving that iOS 9.2.1 has been jailbroken. Now, I also don't think he would lie. He does have a history with jailbreakers, so there's no reason why he would fake this and uh, lose his reputation. He did contribute to the iOS 9.0.2 and 9.0.1, 9.0 jailbreak in conjunction with Pangu. So we do definitely know he does have a good history. He's the one that actually jailbroke iOS 8.4.1. He did release the source code for it, but never actually got around to finishing the tool and giving us an 8.4.1 jailbreak. So a lot of people were angry about that, but make no mistake, he has jailbroken iOS 9.2.1. However, he will not be releasing it. So I don't want you guys to get upset about that. We've had many times in the past when a jailbreak developer would just say, hey, I've jailbroken, here's the proof, but I will not be giving it to you. Why would he not release this marvelous, fantastic, magical tool to us? Well, for one, there could be a lot of issues. Two, iOS 9.2.1 hasn't even been released yet. Imagine if he releases this right now and Apple goes along and patches it within days. What a bummer all that hard work would be. Three, jailbreak exploits can be very profitable. He found it, he can do whatever he wants with it. As jailbreak users, we have this expectancy that everyone should release a jailbreak the moment they have it. Well, you know, it takes so much work that we don't see in finding one, so he really ultimately gets to decide what he's gonna do with it. Not to mention, this guy might be a little bit bitter. The amount of uh, anger and resentment sent his way because he never released a formal 8.4.1 jailbreak tool, so he might be a little bit bitter about that. But guys, this is fantastic news because it proves that iOS 9.2.1 and 9.2 can be jailbroken. If one guy, this guy is 18, he's a student, and he does this on part-time. I mean, imagine if one guy can do this, a team of jailbreak developers who have a long history of jailbreaking can certainly jailbreak iOS 9.2.1. So am I bummed out he's not releasing it? Sure, but it does give me hope that we will see this jailbreak eventually. This is a huge motivational factor for other jailbreak teams. So I just wanted to bring up one last point. So we did see the iOS 9 jailbreak, jailbroken first by I Hate Snow. He actually posted something very similar, a video where he proved the jailbreak did happen, but he never released it. Within weeks, we got a final release from the Pangu jailbreak team, which this guy Luca Tedesco actually contributed to. So it's great news, guys. I know we might all be bummed out that he's not releasing it, but it gives everyone hope the iOS 9.2.1 will be jailbroken very soon. So guys, that's pretty much it, but where should you be right now? So I've had this question a lot of times. If you're on iOS 9.1, get to 9.2. Stay on 9.2 right now, and when 9.2.1 drops, do not update. iOS 9.2.1 might have been jailbroken by Luca Tedesco, but Taiji made no promises about jailbreaking this future firmware. 9.2 is what they said they were working on, so we're gonna stay on 9.2 until they make it clear that we can update or not update. So just wanna be clear on that. Don't update to 9.2.1, stay on 9.2. And guys, it's just about it. So I'm in Canada right now filming a video with another fellow YouTuber. I'll have that video up in a few days and stay tuned for any jailbreak developments. Peace.